guys. All right, we're live. Matt's here, and it's Friday. And um, okay, so I've had so many requests in the last week of various like ideas and questions for pairing straps to bags. And one of the top questions was, how which straps go best with black leather? And I was like, hmm, that's a great question because usually black leather. We do, oh, black on black, or, you know, but people are looking for a pop of color on black leather. So first of all, our store is now open every Tuesday till Friday, currently from 11.30 till three o'clock. And we hope that you come in and we can pair a bag for you guys. And I think it'd be really fun, but let's try. Okay, so first one is the black sling. Cause let me get the black sling bag off of this cool little contraption we have here. Okay, so this is the black leather and it is so pretty. And so let's try it. So my first suggestion, honestly, is let me try the most popular for you guys, which is this guy, which is the classic. And that's the khaki with the black on the black. I know it's boring, but it goes with everything. And it's just really classic. And like right now I have a black shirt on and a cream vest. And it just goes really nicely with that. Another great, if you want a little bit of pop of color, but not crazy, because I also find people who buy black are really minimal. So I think that's the other thing that we have to keep in mind. This green one, the Chevron Coakley K, has been super popular with the black. So let me show you. So this is this one. And I think this one is great. Let me just get closer so that you guys can see what that looks like. So that looks really pretty with the black. So I love that with the black. And then let's see what else there is. So that's the black leather. And then the third choice that I have is this one strap that goes with everything, okay? And this is a strap that I personally use every single day and I love it. So now I've discovered a second strap, there's two of them. But this denim one I've been using forever and it honestly goes with anything we have on the line. So. Of course, it's just really a nice, like classic with the black and it adds a little bit of a pop of color, but again, not crazy. And then of course, and it goes with the olive, which I love. So it goes with everything and it goes with the camel leather. So honestly, this is a great all around strap. If you're looking for like, oh, a strap that might go with everything in your wardrobe. So that one is great. And then let's see if you want a little bit of a pattern. Of course, we go to the tried and true our monitor strap, which is amazing. And I love that. Again, classic, not too much color, but a nice pattern. So this is the other one. And then I was saying that I discovered a new strap that goes with everything that I might need in my repertoire. Um, either the camo or my favorite jacket um, strap. I love these two. I think these are great. Uh oh, I think this one is stuck on this one. So get a new one here. So this one, the olive with the orange on the inside, but it's only like a little tiny pop of orange, which I love. And again, this is a great classic to have, again, with the black leather. I love that. And I think it's just the little tiny pop of color is really nice, but this one, again, goes with everything. So this is great, of course, it's the same material as this, uh, my favorite jacket sling bag. Great with the enamel suede, the butterscotch, and fantastic with, uh, our uh, caramel suede. I think that'll look really nice. So this one goes with everything. And then of course the camo, which has been so popular. I love the camo strap. So here's the camo strap. And again, this has a really nice, like if you're looking for something a little bit more, you know, but again, it's a little pattern, but not too much. This is connected together. And then um, again, the camo goes amazing with the favorite jacket and um, amazing with the butterscotch. So I think this is a great one. Okay, so that's that. And then let's go into the beaded straps. And also stripes is a really great way to break up a pattern too. Okay, this is, sorry, I have one more that someone might like, which is the tiger. I think that might be super cool. This is another very popular one. So again, it's a really nice classic kind of shape, beautiful leather. This leather is so soft and so pretty. I wish you could see it and touch it, but it is so, heavily and just beautiful. And again, just add the patterns or add the uh, solid if you like that. Um, let me show you. So here's, let me show you a stripe. So obviously this one's super popular, which is the black and natural stripe. That's beautiful. Or if 
you are just like, hey, I just want black on black, which is, again, super popular. I think that's super classic, and it goes with everything. So these are, this has been the number one question, which is like, what do I pair with black um, nylon or black leather? So these are all the various options, which I find terrific. Now, we also have a beaded strap, which I find really amazing. This is one of my beaded, most favorite straps. And we added it in the crossbody, which is the longer version of the geometric. This one, again, oddly will go with everything you have in your wardrobe. So again, on the black, it's beautiful. Gorgeous on the olive. I love how that looks. Striking on the butterscotch. It even goes with the pink suede, which I love. And it goes with the avocado suede, which is terrific. We got a phone call coming in. Um, I love that. See, and this is again, you would never think that this would go with everything, but it does. And then with the, um, here, caramel suede, amazing. This is amazing, look at how beautiful that is. So again, I think these are terrific. Oh, and then the last one that I have here that I think would pair with everything also is this surfer stripe with the navy, purple, red, and I love this combo. It is a pop of color on everything here that I have, especially on the black leather again. Oh my God, look at this. This looks insane. It's just so nice to have that and you really think like, oh my God, I don't know if that's gonna go, but it will. Look at how pretty that is. And then also, again, I've got the pink and red stripe, which is super popular with the olive, which is great. It really pops off, which I love. Really popular with the black also. If you are a pink person that you want a little bit of a pattern, this is terrific. And navy leather goes really well with. I know that. Ari says hi. Hi, Ari. Susan says, I received my first Mimi bag and sling in the butterscotch. I love your products and these live sessions. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I want to know what strap you're doing with your butterscotch. We're pairing straps today because it's so, it's, there's so many questions on strap pairing. I love the avocado with the pink and red. I think that's beautiful. And of course, the butterscotch and the caramel suede are perfect mediums for the pink and red. The pink and red is super Sorry popular. says, I just put the Luna with the green and red strap on my Christmas list. Oh, okay. The Luna bag is just such a great, great, let me show you. This has been a, our most popular bag this week to order. And I think this, I hope you get it for Christmas. It is just so terrific. So I just want to show you how close up this is. I love the caramel suede. It is just, it's so beautiful. And like I said, all of our suede's come in different shades sometimes, but just this lot of suede we got in the last two months have been my most favorite. It's darker than usual, but it is just so rich. And I think it looks so expensive and I just, I love how it looks. I think it's just the best color suede we've ever received to tell you the truth. It just makes the bag look so, so rich. I'm so glad you got this one. Or I hope you get this one for Christmas. And it is honestly so classic with the green and red because that's what I'm using right now. I love that choice. That's a terrific choice. So if anybody has any other questions in terms of, whoa, it's getting hot. Um, what strap you wanna pair, tell me, because I'm really excited to do this. Um, denim is another color that I love to pair with things. And we, I'm gonna take this one down. I love the denim with the red. Oh, and we just restocked the camo with Susan, the red. Susan says the tiger and the pink and red, but I almost got the red green stripe hard choice. Oh, I know. The red green stripe is actually a great one. Pink and red is terrific because I feel like that one will go with anything and it's a great summer spring thing for a pop of color, but even in winter, just so nice to have the color. Those are great choices. I think those are terrific. So the denim is another one that I feel like goes with everything. But of course, on that, what strap was I using? I just use a, I use this denim strap on everything. I'm gonna tell you, this is the one I've been using on everything. But I am now playing with this idea of, I'm gonna use this one too. Someone just came in the store. And by the way, the store is open, so I'm really excited. Oh, and I'm just, I'm wearing the big beads today. And I paired it with the small beads and I really love how it looks. It's really cool. And it's not too heavy. And like, I felt like this might be too big for me, but I feel like it really works. I like how it feels. So this is the my favorite jacket, olive with just a little Our orange. Ari says, oh, I'm getting it. Um, laugh out loud for sure. And she said, I was showing my daughter and she really loved the denim Mimi 
with the pink and natural chevron stripe. I thought that was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That one's terrific. I think we have one left in the store. I'm thinking. Oh, no. Someone bought it? Maybe someone bought it. There was one left. But there's uh, the olive with the orange is so great on just all these things. It's terrific. So I might use it on my red. I think that's terrific. Of course, it looks great on the camera leather. So I just think this is a great... Uh, useful strap. I like useful things. I like useful straps that go with everything. I know this has been flying off the shelves. Everyone loves this one and I think that, again this is a really useful strap. It's a great color. It's actually the same nylon that we use which I love and it's not like a fake you know camera. This is real camo and I just love how it looks and I think it's just great on anything. It's just, it's just so nice and especially if you are wearing like a tweed blazer or tweed jacket, having like a little bit of a camo in there is terrific. I also always love camo mixed with leopard. I think it always looks terrific. Um, I know it's weird, but it's not. Chloe's it's requesting the French blue. Look at how pretty that is. Love that. Chloe's requesting the red and French blue with the denim. Red and French blue with the denim, yes. Lisa and says this... that she has the big bead and she, I love it. And then Jerry says, hi, my XL camo BB is on its way to me and I'm so excited. Can you show it with the denim strap? Yes, of course. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I, I am so excited about that XL mini. It took us by surprise because I'm like, that's a pretty big bag. But I think you guys are all so chic and just so insane that you, like, you're like, okay, I got it. Because some people would be like, oh my God, it's too big. But you guys all got it. I mean, we have to restock this up. Uh, this guy here because it's been so popular. I just love that you guys get like how cool this big bag is. It's insane. Okay, so Chloe, I'm gonna do the French blue with the red with the denim. And um, I love how this looks. This looks terrific. It looks so great. Such a great pop of color. It's just beautiful. It's wonderful. And I love it also with the denim with the um, red handles. This looks amazing too. So thank you, Chloe. This is awesome. I love how that looks. And then we're going to do the camo with the pink and red stripe and the XL. And then what stripe was that again, Matt, with the pink and red stripe camo? Uh, I started to talk and I forgot. Shark. What was it? I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure um, we'll be reminded soon. So, oh, with the denim. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is a great uh, test for Alzheimer's. For sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, go. great combo. Very useful strap, like I said. This is my go-to strap because it goes with everything so I don't have to really think about it and I just switch it out. So I love this one. I love how it looks. But I'm gonna tell you, I'll show you the most popular strap that is that goes with this one that sometimes people are like, what? But then it looks really great. This is the most popular pairing. And I'm gonna show it to you guys with the um, camera with the pink and red. I love how that is. It just, I somehow all the patterns go together and it adds a really nice little character to it. So this one is terrific. I love this bag. I was just thinking, um, which bag am I gonna use for holiday? And I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out if I want the, cam the caramel suede in the Excel, or do we want to do the camel or the butterscotch? I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do. I'm, 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 I was just thinking about it myself this morning. Things I asked to think about. So, is there another one that people want to pair? Because I am here. I've got oh, all the straps Sabi, up. Sabia asked, would love to see the Lee bag in avocado. Okay, I got it down. With the pink and red strap, if possible. Love that. I love avocado with the pink and red strap. This is actually my favorite combo because the colors look so great together. I love how that looks, and it's just a wonderful pairing. Lee bag is one of our classic Lees, and like uh, Chloe. Del Santo, if she's out there, she's like, you guys don't talk about the Lee enough. Because the Lee just sells on its own because people love this bag. It's great as a flat clutch so you can see I use it when I go out, or it's just insane, like how much stuff you can get in this bag. It is one of the most terrific um, items that we have that is really honestly useful. Okay, any other pairings or any other charms you guys wanna see on stuff? I'm not sure, but I would love to do that for you guys. Chloe says ha, and Jerry says so fun. Right? Okay, I'm trying to see if there's it. Okay, let's look at the caramel suede because we haven't really given love to the caramel suede. Again, I don't give, oh my God. First of all, okay, my ADD is kicking in. I have to show you guys this new uh, bracelet we just got in that I've been dying to get for myself. Um, it's a square one. I love the shape. 
And I love how it pairs with all of our other bracelets. So this is the, um, this is the smaller bubble bracelet that I have. And then I have the, I think I have the, I, I have all these um, sayings and I blindly always just pick one every day. And I hope that it's just the universe giving me a message. So today I think I have, I have Moxie on. So I think that's good, right Matt? Yeah. And then I always wear my tag bracelet. This tag bracelet has been used every day for the last almost year. I love how it's just completely broken in and I just love it. It's just, oh, the colors look so great the more you use it, okay? Lisa's requesting Luna, look at this. Luna pairings, please. Luna pairing, okay? So Luna pairings with, um, let's see. So let's let's take the, uh, oh my God, we just got the denim one in. Should I get it? Because I've been waiting for it. Hold on one second, let's get it real quick. I'm gonna steal this. And Chloe, if you're there, I'm gonna reserve one for you. This is a denim one and I've been waiting for it to come in. It just came in and I'm just so excited about it. It is such a great bag. Ooh, that looks so, really, I like the isn't piping. that great? With really nice. the red, the piping yeah. is so beautiful. I'm gonna show it up close because it's hard to see. It is amazing. Okay, Luna pairings with this guy. I know Chloe, you're gonna kill me again. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get lazy. I need the I need the green and red one out here. I don't know where it is, but that's the classic one I would do with this one. Okay. But also the denim. Okay, again, I would probably do the denim with the, the, the denim with the pink and here like this with the red. I love how that looks. Very classic, very clean, but the light blue denim, but it's not too light blue. It's just the perfect color. And it just kind of adds a little pop and a little dimension. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Okay, green and red. Classic. Goes with everything, of course. I love that. Um, I love this with this. Amazing. Love how that looks. It's just so beautiful. Um, I have been personally wearing the Luna in caramel suede. I'm gonna have to switch over to the denim. And uh, I've been doing this one. This is the one I've been doing. I love how that looks. It's so pretty. So that's gorgeous. And, it, and again, leopard, you're like, okay, what do I do with leopard spots? Best selling coupling is always the green and red with the leopard. I love how that looks. It's classic, it's beautiful. And I think this this is a winner for a strap. Of course, this guy is really popular with the um, leopard. So we've got a ton of comments. So let me know when you're ready. Okay, ready. ready. Let's go. Yeah, Fire away. Through them all. Okay. Uh, Amy says, Amy B says, love. Thank this. you for the comments, by the way. Amy B says, love the square bracelet. Okay. Chloe says, yay. Yay. And Lee says, I know boring, but can we see? I, I'm going to show the square bracelet again. See, this is going to be the next thing on my arm. I might have to steal this one. This is amazing. I love it. And of course, like pair it up with a classic um, tennis bracelet. Adds a little pop. I think I'm gonna bring some of these in. This is a tennis bracelet I just found. It's not diamonds. What? Can you imagine a real diamond uh, tennis bracelet right now for me? Because probably go missing. Um, so this is a man-made diamond, and I love these. And I don't know if there's anyone who's interested in these, but Matt, can you you can explain the man-made diamond? Because Matt's the one who found it actually first. And I've just I'm been obsessed expert, with it. I think it. they're saying that they're man-made sapphires. Okay. And that they're basically so indiscernible from real sapphires. They just happen to be made man-made. Like they're getting okay. to that level of ability. Okay. Um, but we were both really impressed with this one that you found about how brilliant it is. It's so brilliant. It's so beautiful. And it's obviously impossible to decipher the difference between this and a real diamond because we were looking at it and it was really difficult to decipher. Then you worry about it too. Yes, and I love that. It takes the pressure off because if I had this on my hand, I think I would really have an issue of just being worried all the time. But I just love how it looks and look at how much, it's just so nice to add like a little pop to all your um, other things on your bracelet. Um, I just love how that looks. So That's if good. anyone's it's interested, nice tell me because I'm going to bring some in. Like a contrast. Nice yeah. Thing. And yeah. I, you know, and someone was saying that the other day, and I think it's nice to have a little diamond on you just to remind you that diamonds come from extreme pressure. So when you're going through extreme pressure, think about the diamond at the end of the pressure, right? Fight through it. Again, that's what I... It reminds me of when I see my bracelet on. Are you ready for the rest? Yes, let's go for another one. Okay. Um, I know boring, but can we see the olive nylon medium Mimi with the camo strap? Okay. Yes, not boring at all. And again, I was just admiring this because someone bought this yesterday. And I was like, I love this. Okay, and I love this because it has orange on the inside. So it's not boring at all. Olive with a pop of orange on all the inside. 
with the camo. I think this is a terrific pairing, and this is what I actually intended to do with this bag. This is why we have this strap, honestly, is I wanted to pair it with the orange nylon and with the olive nylon. This is a classic. Again, if you're looking for a bag that is nylon, it's very, very robust. It will last you forever. Nice to have the orange on the inside. And again, great classic to have around because then, you know what? You use it all the time. Pop a different color on it during the summer, right? And you can change the face of this beautiful bag. And I think that's why we do what we do. We just want to make your life easy and elegant. That's all. Okay. What else? Let's count on the Okay, uh, then uh, Lisa's asking for the Black Luna with colored straps. Black Luna with colored straps. I don't have a Black Luna here right now in leather. So we'll do that next time. Yeah, we'll do Charlie that. Charlie says, also cannot find those boots. Are you sure not Dolce Vita? I think they are, but I'll look again tonight on the thing that they're love boots and they were very inexpensive because we were getting them for um, when it was snowing and they're supposed to be waterproof. But let me look again and I will send you the link. All right, sorry, I thought they were, but let me check. Sorry. Kelly, Kelly Steinsky with Canadian flag says, what would you pair with the silver sling? Canada? Silver sling? Okay, I don't have the silver sling right now. We're waiting for it to restock, but I know you're gonna kill me, but I did do the denim with the silver sling. Chloe responded to Kelly saying it looks great with the beaded. Yes, thank you, Chloe. So, of course, I have this silver one at home and I do it with the, this denim strap because it has like, it's a bluey silver, so it kind of goes with that. But Chloe is right. I would definitely try it with this guy too. This one is a really nice um, juxtaposition against the silver. The, and again, anything with a little bit of navy blue does really well with the silver. I know it's sometimes you're like, I know that I get really nervous with color or something a little crazy and I get a little confused. But I find that when you match it back to what the shade of the silver is or the metallic is, it really helps. So it is a kind of a bluish silver. So I find anything with navy blue does really well with the um, silver strap. And I even paired it one time when I was wearing it with this guy. So again, it had the blue and I think that's the trick. So if you're looking for something to pair with that, um, do the blue, anything with blues is really great. Okay, is there another one, Matt? Yeah, so then yeah. Susie says, um, Irene, would you show the other beaded crossbody including yeah. parts for black white stripe? Oh, okay, those are new and they're coming in. I'm hoping crossing fingers by the end of next week because we had a little shipment bugaboo. Um, let me go in the back and go get them. Hold on one second. I did not want to show them because I don't want to, because uh, the delivery times are so crazy right now. So this is the U one. So the black and white, gorgeous. This is terrific. The beading is insane on these. Again, it goes with my necklace. Okay, let's see. What do we want to pair this with? There was a question, the black and white and the queen of hearts. So Irene, would you show the other beaded crossbody queen of hearts or black and white stripe? These are the two and they're wonderful. Um, I just, the, the beading is spectacular on all Lisa of these. Lisa says, yeah, bring them. I know, right? How terrific is that? This one is insane. The beading on this, the beadwork is beautiful. This one will be beautiful with the silver, um, the silver sling also, again. Anything with blue. I love this Y pattern one. Actually, all these patterns, I wanted to tell you the history behind all these stripes. Okay, so this one, the Y pattern, Matt drew this pattern a long time ago when we were doing trays, Matt. Yeah. And so I took his pattern and I put it on a, uh, it had them beaded, which is really special. It um, translated really well. It did, right? Yeah. And then the U pattern that I um, had, okay, these patterns I found a very old French ribbon book. It was like a vintage, like, I don't even, from the 1800s. It had all these old French ribbons. So I took the old French ribbons and had them beaded up with those patterns. So this one was from an old French ribbon book. This one was an old French ribbon. It was spectacular. So I had them recreated with the beads. So I think these are wonderful. And again, the heart that grew and I just love this one. This one's great. I, I really love this one actually. I just love how it looks. And again, 
I love using natural beads. I don't like white beads, so I, you'll see that it's not white. It's just a beautiful kind of off-white eggshell color. These are terrific. They are really wonderful. And it's just really special. I think that's what it is. Like, I mean, where are you going to find this stuff? <laughs> right? And I just, I love how they look. And I think they really add character to your bags, honestly. And I would, I would definitely collect all of these because I find them so special. So, so beautiful. So, rock them all out. And again, we're supposed to have them delivered by the end of next week. But I'm hoping that the shipping gods are going to help us out. Feedback on the tennis bracelet from yeah. uh, Adriana. She says, I'd like to see them in the shop. It definitely, I'd definitely, it definitely be interested in pairing with a stack. Right? I love that. Thank you for your feedback. I just, I just, I love how, and you know what? I always like to get things that are classics. So, you know, bringing in a classic tennis bracelet, but it's not cupid zirconia. They're actually diamonds, right? I remember when Matt, so Matt's the one who found them first and he gave me a necklace like this and I opened it up and I was like, oh my God, are you joking? And he's like, <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> he's like, do not. Not. I'm like, what do I do with this? And then I'm like, should we get security? You said your expectations before. I was like, not real. No, no, you didn't say it. And then no. I opened it. And you saw my face, and I was like, <laughs> first of all, I was like, are you sure? Yeah. And then, and then he's like, don't worry, it's not real. It's like, whoo. Anyway, pressure's off. You've been wearing that. I love it. I, I love it. I just love a class. And I, it's just such a nice little pop of color, and it's just really nice. So yes, I will um, try to get some for the store. I just, I just love how they feel, how it looks. It's really solid. So, and then look at the square bracelet. I love this bracelet. So, anyway. Ari says, ooh, the blue leopard straps with the silver. And says, by the way, hi, yes. Matt, and we love you too. Thank you, Ari. Jen says, <laughs> hi, guys. How much heavier is the beaded strap compared to the others? Um, the beaded strap is actually, let's see, Matt, what do you think? Not that much heavier. Let's see. Here, here's one. And then the, our lightest one is this nylon one. So feel those two. They're not that They're really not yeah. different. It's which not is that totally crazy. I know. You would think it's so crazy heavy, but it's not. It's great. It's not heavy. It's obviously not adjustable, but we made it so that it's the universal length. Like for me, I could even use it. So, so you're saying it's the heart navy? Yes, I have one that's navy, and then I have a navy and red one. Yes. Any chance, Nicole asks, that those beaded straps will come in shoulder strap length to bubble? Um, yes, maybe. On the ones that are most popular, we'll probably bring in the shoulder strap, but I'm going to honestly say that the crossbody long ones sell more, so we brought them all in crossbodies. But the ones that do sell, for sure, if there's a pattern you guys like, for sure, open to open. Uh, bringing any of them in shoulder straps. Nicole's also on the shoulder strap. Also, sure. any chance to see what straps you would pair with the I think camo slash red slash pink stripe mini? Yeah, 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 of course. So um, the camo with the pink and red. This guy? I think so, yeah. yeah. I love this bag so much, and it's been out of stock, and it just came back into stock, and it's almost out of stock again because this is such a Amazing bag. The stripe goes all the way around. I just love it. It's like a little present. Okay. It's a striking bag. It's, really it's striking and it's so spectacular and it's just, and it never gets old. That's the other thing. No. This is one of our most classic stripes we've had on, on the line. And every year I'm like, should we bring this one back? And every time we bring it back, it's like new again, right? It's all good, it yeah. never gets well, and old. And for people who've been with us for a long time, we've now evolved, everything's evolved the stripe. Yeah. So it should show that, I mean, it's hard to, you gotta show it because like yeah. it's just really, it's really yes, nice. it goes all the way around, but it's like raised off the surface. Yeah, it has a beautiful webbing. I just love this. So, again, I'm gonna go back. Modernist is the most popular with this, and I love how that looks. Um, another one that looks great. I'm just gonna pull it out. I don't know if you're an orange person, but I'm just going by what really sells a lot. Orange always does really well with this, so it's not if you want so much color. Um, and if you're not into color, again, I'm going to go back to my, uh, uh, the denim. I'm going to go back to the denim, which is always a tried and true. goes with everything. So that looks really great with it. And let's go one more, which is the, um, again, boring, but I like the fact that it allows for all the patterns and the stripes to kind of shine through. But the navy is truly a classic with that. So this is a great one, too. Um, and then again, you know, weirdly, sometimes I see beaded straps with it, which I find really 
wonderful. So again, kind of like the modernist, it's just a lot going on, but somehow it works, and I love how that looks. And you know, we may even pair it with, let's try it even with one of our new ones. The, the hearts might look really cool. It's just really odd, but I just find that because this is such a classic color and classic um, fabrication, that you can use weird things on it. Where's the heart? I just had it. Isn't that weird? Oh, where's the heart? Heart may look really good too. Yeah, it does. It's just so cute. I love that. So yes, this one is great. It's just such a great, great purse. I love this bag. Lisa is asking, can you please show the Leopard Luna with more strap choices? Leopard Luna with more strap choices, of course. Okay, so yes, green and red, one of them. Um, and then the classics. It's really hard for me to do leopard because I always feel like I just want to do classics with them because I, again, I'm not a crazy person and I just love just classic colors. So I see a lot of the pink and red with this one, which I do understand why it just looks beautiful. I have also been seeing people use um, the surfer stripe on this, which is really interesting. And again, it's classic and it adds a little pop of color against the leopard. Personally, I am also fascinated by leopard with camo because I know I have a leopard jacket that I wear with camo pants. I kind of really do dig that. So if you're looking for something like a little bit cool, this is kind of cool. And then I also see the, um, let's see, the black on black, the black solid is another very popular one. Oddly boring, but very classic. So that's another one. So those are the most popular um, pairings that I see with the leopard Lisa. Okay. Uh, Amy Dong says hi. Hi, just, Amy. Oh, Amy just got the leopard. Just shared Parker Thatch with the ladies at the gym. They love my small Mimi camo with bear stripe. Oh my gosh. How does pink nylon sling compare to the pink leather sling versus the pink suede sling? Which is the oh. most? Which is the most hot pink? I think the pink suede sling is the most hot pink. The leather one, I think there's only one left. And it's a nice leather. I don't have it here, um, but I think the suede one is a brighter color than the leather. So this is the pink one that just came in, and it's just so cute, so pretty. The color is so pretty. So yes, this is a great one, and it pairs with everything. I love this one. Jen says, "Thank you. They are gorgeous." Then Jerry says, "The square bracelet and the sapphire bracelet is a must. Going on the list now." Any thoughts about that soft black leather in a Mimi or XL Mimi? Which one? Uh, soft black leather in a Mimi or XL Mimi? Black soft leather. Um, we had it in an XL Mimi, but then we decided not to do it. But you know what? I could put a poll up and see if anybody would be interested. It is really beautiful, the black leather. It's wonderful. So yes, um, thinking about that one. But it is coming in a Luna and it is scrumptious. Don't, I mean, the, even the black Parker bag is almost out of stock. Suddenly the black bags are coming back into like being cool for some reason, because we haven't had them. They kind of go slowly, but now I feel like, I don't know, or like, is it, you know, like it's just kind of out there and everyone's kind of into getting black bags lately. Yeah. So it's just kind of cool. I love that. So yes, thank you. Let, uh, we will definitely think about doing that in the XL. The XL might be really great in the black leather. Nicole totally says thank that. you so much. Yeah, of course. Okay, any other pairings, guys? Because I really love doing these pairings. It's so fun. It's like having your wine pairings. <laughs> like it's really fun. I, mean, I, I just, the, the, the store has been so beautiful, and Colleen's been in the Thank store. You, and um, Oh, we're gosh, open now, you guys. Yes, please come in. Colleen's here from Newt. And we just got a bunch of teas, um, which I'm really excited about. So I, I have, have a tea. No, I know I've got the black mango tea here. And the um, and I have a really good oolong tea. So if anybody wants some tea, just come on in. So and we should have some tea. Through Fridays, eleven thirty to three. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's gonna be. It's just. And if you want to come in, we could do some fun pairings. There's a lot we can do in here. Ooh, Lisa coming in strong. Navy Mimi pairings. Navy Mimi pairings. Navy Mimi. Navy Mimi. Um, this guy. The nylon or in suede. Wondering. I'll wait for her to answer. Amy okay. says maybe Luna in pink suede. Seriously. Ooh, Amy, yes. 
love to do the Luna in fun colors. Amy just got to Luna. I would love to get your feedback on the Luna and see how you love it. Lisa answered Sway. Baraka Mama Sabrina says the hair is looking good, Irene. Susan oh, thank says, you. Susan says, can you show the different camo Mimi bag options? The different camo Mimi options. Okay, so I have, let's see what I've got here. I've got the camo with the pink and red. I know I have the camo with the red, um, red strap, the solid red strap. And I also have the camo with the orange, which is wonderful. So these are the three camos I think we have online right now in the Mimi bags, and they come in the small and the medium. And the XL comes with the pink and red. I personally Did you talk use about the leopard one. That one's in black. Oh, the camo. With, oh, that's in a small guy. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, yes, you're right. So there's one with a, a leopard strap and the little guy, which is really cute. I personally use the camo with the red, and I love it. And I use that a lot in the medium, but I dig in this orange one. I think the orange is really, really wonderful, really great. So those are the camo options. Thanks for asking. Oh, and the camo also comes in the sling bag too. All right, any other questions? Let's see. Uh, Selena asks, can you show the small and medium side by side please yeah great question I love doing that because I think it's really important you see them all together this is a small and this is the medium and again sometimes people are like what do I get in the small and when people come in the store they're like I just need the small because if you're not carrying a computer so I use a computer 13 inch Mac Pro for sure it fits in here Sometimes people get confused and they're like, how does my bag fit? I just put it in, I use it every time. Ask Matt. I put my computer, all my stuff with the all computer time. in this bag. It fits perfectly if you have a 13 inch. You travel with it too. I travel with it all the time. So this is the difference. It's just, if you want to carry a computer, do the medium. If you're not interested in carrying a computer, small is perfectly fine. What's the trick is it looks small, but because I made the gusset so big, the small is insane how much stuff you could get. And I think with the small, you could even do a, not the iPad Pro, but an iPad. You could do a regular iPad yeah. in here for sure. So definitely, definitely a uh, very, very useful bag. And someone came in here the other day and they're like, I got everything in there. And then I could even get a scarf and a sweater in there because this is how much room it is. So you're so right. The gusset is, is yeah. makes a huge difference. Yeah. So when you get your bag, sometimes people get in and they're like, oh, this is too small. And I always tell them, hey, do you mind opening it up and just putting all your stuff in there? And then you'll see how much stuff you can get in there. It's crazy. You're just like, whoa. And you know what? The sling bag also. Someone asked me, what can you get in the sling bag? Everything that you could get into your purse that's this size, you could get into the sling bag. And I could and attest we did that. to it. We did that demo. Yeah. yeah, right? And my mom, she carries a sweater in her sling bag. She, she'll fold up a little tiny cardigan sweater and put it into her sling bag. I'm Your like, mom is extreme. Yeah. That. And then remember she had like all those lotions yeah. and she just had them. I was like, what the hell do you have in there? It's insane. This bag carries everything you need in your purse. You can dump everything and I, just, I, I will guarantee it'll fit in here. I'm not joking. It's crazy how much stuff you can get into this bag. Um, two questions. Selena says, follow up. Will the small come back in olive? In the olive um quilted or sol oh this guy in the olive with the orange i think Small. we have those so let's see what she says yes and then sharon says hi irene i came in late on the bracelet convo yeah did you say you're going to carry some ten tennis question oh tennis yes uh, I, I i actually i've been screwing around with these and i just love this concept of a man-made diamond so they're not cubic zirconias sapphire they're cubic, oh, man-made sapphire. That's what they're okay. called. That's what they're called. Sorry. I call them man-made diamonds because they look like diamonds. Oh, whatever. Yeah. But yes, I'm going to bring some in in the tennis bracelets. And I think it's just such a great little fun little pop of fun goodness with all the stacks. Jen was wondering, can you please put on the small Mimi crossbody? Does it stick out really far when it's full? Sure. No problem. No. And so this is pretty full, right? I'm going to have to say it's the super stuff. I will put it on as a crossbody. Oh, Selena's follow up to the um, olive is leather. Olive leather. In the um, small. Oh. Um, 
I don't think in the leather, but we'll definitely bring it back in the nylons and um, uh, would like to bring it back also quilted. I think the quilting will be amazing with this. So this is me, this is a small, this is super stuck, and this is what it looks like. So you can see it is not like sticking out too much. I, I'm standing from this angle. It's just, a, and this is like super stuck, like overly stuck. And it's so comfortable because it just kind of hangs against your body and it just kind of rolls to your hand. So I love, I love this bag. I think this is a great size for every day. Especially if you don't have to use a computer, you don't need a big bag. This is a great, perfect size. Sharon, you know? Sharon, you was asking about the bracelets that snakes are in. Oh yes, of course, Sharon. It's, it's so fun, those bracelets are so fun. And I know that uh, Chloe, Who's with us? She always uses a pretty large bag, but I haven't seen that she's been using the small Mimi, and it's fit a lot of her stuff, and it's just terrific. The denim is so pretty. I love the uh, this Japanese salvage denim uh, on the denim on the uh, on the small Mimi. So yes, love these bags. Okay, so that's what's going on, and um, you know what? DM us because that's what gave us the idea to do the pairing today because there were so many questions on what to pair with all the various new bags. Um, so DM us with what you want us to do next week, especially next week. Oh, oh my God, I have to do a little preview. These just arrived, amazing stocking stuffers. This is something I have been using every day in my bag, as an app. And, there's, and Chloe's like, I need to get these for everybody because this is the greatest little key ring thing where you could have all your keys on here on this giant ring. This giant zipper pull is terrific. And this is big enough for you to carry like your lipstick and your keys, your credit card and your cash. AirPods. AirPods, I put my AirPods in here all the time. And I love the pink with the pink and orange. So cute. This is so cute. I love this. What are you thing. calling that guy? This is a little guy. A little guy. Little guy. Little guy. So little check guy these out. Little guy. Little guy. Little guy. L-I-L, little guy. Lisa, Lisa is asking Mimi Navy suede. Oh yes, yeah. sorry Lisa. Hello. Okay. I have one left in the store that's navy with a navy uh, strap. But most of the navy, all the navies have cognac straps now. Okay, let's pair this guy. Again, I have an easier time pairing navies than black for some reason because I find that navies go with, you know, when you put orange on black, sometimes it looks like Halloween and then I have a hard time. So I feel like navy is such a great medium for pairing anything. I'm going to say all of our straps go with this navy strap. Uh, but I love, this is what I intended to do with the navy suede, with this uh, navy surface stripe with the pink and red. I love how that looks. I think it's striking. Um, the new beaded straps, all of them would be insanely chic with that. Like, look at how beautiful that is. That's insane. Um, the new Y pattern one is insane also. I'm a personal lover of black with navy. I find black and navy to be such a Beautiful, beautiful combination. So I love that black with the navy. And again, navy suede goes really well with the modernist. Always love how that looks. Very, 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 very um, uh, classic. And let's say I know that we always do navy. Oh, and this one looks really great with the navy. The Coakley key and the emerald. Um, I love that one. And then if you're going for sassy, I love the French blue with the navy. I think that looks terrific. Again, that's just so, I love that. And then my favorite I love is also this new crossbody with this guy with the navy suede. I think that's beautiful. So those are just some of them. And then camo looks really good with the navy. I mean, I'm gonna say this suede will go with any color strap we have online. Um, purple, I love with navy. I know Chloe, you hate purple, but I love purple with navy. So I love that. Lisa says, gorgeous, thank you. Get some little guy feedback. Jen says, Ooh, I, am, I am obsessed with my little guy. I throw in my lip gloss, my license, my little pill case, and I can grab it when I don't want something bigger. I then love that. Sharon says, are those little guys nylon weren't the others leather? Le no, these are suede. So it's just luxurious feeling. I love how it feels. I just love these little guys. And you're right. Okay, I love that feedback. It's great. And it's so weird because sometimes I'll go pop into the store and I'll just bring the little guy in without my purse. I'll just get out. And of course, because I have my phone with a giant wallet on the back. This guy's like your jump bag. Like yeah. You so like, I will just run in oh, sometimes. Also a dog bag. Great for a dog bag. But these two things, 
terrific. Like, I have my entire life attached to the back of my phone. And then, little guy, like you said, terrific with, you know, your driver's license, just the things you need. When we go walking, this is what we always take. Because you could get the little um, dog poo bag. Essentials. Yeah. Because it's, I love, because we made it a little bit weird. A little, and you're right, like, if it's in your bag, I love this giant, um, because this was a, actually, I'm going to tell you the truth. They put on the wrong, <laughs> they put on the wrong, um, a happy mistake. yeah, and, and sometimes mistakes are great. That's why I love, I love mistakes. They put on the wrong size, um, <coughs> whatever you call it, the zipper pull. But then when they sent it in, they're like, oh, sorry, we put the wrong size in. And then I'm like, sorry. I actually love it. Right? Yeah. I actually love it. And it's actually super useful, especially when it's in your bag. And you just pull it and it comes out. So a wrong mistake actually turned out super cool. So anyways, this is a terrific, terrific piece to add to your repertoire. It goes everywhere with me. So that's what's going on. Happy Friday. Send me DMs. Let's do another pairing. I just have to share my very, very favorite thing that I just got. And I cannot stop wearing it. And I think it's gonna probably gonna get dirty pretty soon, but this fuzzy vest is insane. Like I wanna sleep in this thing, right? It's so cozy, so fuzzy. It's terrific. So it's I just got it from the label edition. I just met the uh, the designer who started the line. I love the line. And um, this vest is just super warm and super fun and dramatic. I'm really into vests lately, I don't know why, because I think it's I have too many Yeah, and I also have too many coats. So I feel like, if, and I'm always loving, I love collecting outerwear, but now I'm like, oh, I have too many. So I'm kind of now gonna collect vests. And they're great for, especially if you're in the office, because it's too hot to wear a full coat in the office, but you, you can wear a vest. So anyways, Lisa, try a vest. Lisa says, please, can you talk about that gorgeous green phone case? Green phone case? Your phone case. Oh no, this is black. My phone case is black. But, um, okay, this is a really funny, weird thing. This is my phone case. It has a zipper that zips all the way around because if you're like me and you've lost your wallet, this is what I learned, sadly. It has all my credit cards attached and I could even put cash in here. Is your wallet gone bad? Yeah, I don't, I've never, I haven't used a wallet in three years, I think, because you know what? I always need my phone. Yeah. And then I suggest this because you always need your stuff attached to your phone. And then maybe hopefully it'll decrease the chances of losing your wallet. This is my, this is what I, after I lost that wallet, remember Matt? And then I was like, okay. At Home Goods, right? I, yeah, at Home Goods. <laughs> and we're uh, searching on the ground. That was like so bad. I went into Home Goods to get, I don't know, like stocking stuffers. And then ended up losing my entire wallet. And like, I also went and got cash that day. I don't know why. So I had all this cash inside the wallet. Did we get anything back? We didn't. Not, no. Nothing of it. No. I'm sure some. Uh, dude, there's so much cash in there. I think they. Yeah, decided. I know, but they could have taken the cash. And left yeah, I didn't need. They could take the cash. Go ahead, but they didn't. So, anyways, instead of moping, I decided to do something about it, and this is what I did, and I've never looked back. I love this thing. I think we should make some of these because this is my favorite thing in the world. But the hard thing about that is phones keep changing, so I don't know, whatever. Matt's like rolling his eyes. Please don't. It's like, do you remember the phone cases? Like, I know, but I, I swear to God, I, I would oh, love to make some fun shoes, cute ones. The new shapes are constantly. I could do a camo one. I could do a leopard one. So many, cool so many things I would love to do with this thing, but I do religiously use it. You can find them on Amazon for like nothing. It's terrific. So that's what's going on. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.